Hi everyone, if you have an action cam and you purchase an accessory kit for your action cam, you might be overwhelmed with the number of pieces that come in the accessory kit. So all these pieces you see in front of you come in the action kit. And in this video, I'm going to show you each piece, what it does and how to install it. To make the video easier to follow, I'm going to divide it in three categories. The first category is all the pieces that go on a bicycle, on a scooter, and on a helmet too. And the second category is everything that is a strap. So for instance, a wrist strap, a chest also strap, and a headband, and so on. And the third category is everything that is handheld, and also everything that goes in your car. So let me start first by showing you how the accessory kit comes by unboxing it. Let's open the box. So this is everything you get in the box. So now I divided everything by category and I'm gonna start with the category of the helmet, the bicycle and the scooter, which are these ones here. So I'm gonna push the others aside. First, I'm gonna show you how to put the action cam on the front of your helmet here using three methods. So the first method is to put this quick release plate on the front of the helmet. It is curved. And because my helmet is curved, it is perfect to put here. And to be able to put it here, you need the adhesive that comes with it. So you have three curved plates and you have four adhesives. One is extra. So let's start first by putting this curved plate on the front of my helmet. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that your helmet is really clean so that the adhesive sticks very good. And for this, you need some rubbing alcohol. Rub the place here to clean it where you're gonna put the adhesive. And if the back of the plate is not clean, also rub it with rubbing alcohol. Leave it for a minute to dry. And then let's put the adhesive now on the plate. So remove one stick of the adhesive. It is a double-sided adhesive, of course. Make sure to put it on the right place from the first time. So now here it is. And now remove the other protection of the adhesive. And you need to stick it right from the first time on the helmet. So I'm going to put it exactly here. And I'm going to make sure that it is centered. So now it needs to stick firmly. Push it down. So this is my DJI Osmo Action 4. And all the DJI Action cameras have this quick release handle here, which is really very good. So I'm going to put it now here. And you see this one here. So this one should go into one of these quick release mounts. So these are the two types of the quick release mounts that go into the quick release plate. And you notice that you have a type that is higher here in case you want to adjust like a bigger angle and one that it is smaller and it is more discreet. So I'm going to use this one to show you in this video how I'm going to do it. So for the quick release mount, it goes like this with these two here on the bottom like this. Don't put it like this. Otherwise, it might slip and fall. So always put it like this. Now, before putting it, I'm going to put my action cam on it. And you see here, it goes like this. And you use one of these to tighten it. So here it is. I'm going to tighten it afterwards. And now it goes like this. And now you can adjust the angle of the action cam. And then you just need to tighten it. And here's the action cam installed on the helmet. Now, what you can do also to make sure that in case that the adhesive like falls out or something is you can also put the security strap on your action cam. So the security strap here has an additional adhesive. So you put the adhesive anywhere you want on your helmet. Let me show you. So for the strap here, you need to put it inside the legs here so that to hold it. So I'm going to slide it in from here. And now you do a knot. Make sure to do a good knot so a knot that doesn't slide out. And now what you can do is when you install your camera here, you can also put this here security strap like this on the helmet. So in case the first one falls down, this one will hold it and you will not lose your camera and you will not break it. So this was the first method on how to install the action cam on the helmet. The second method is exactly like the first method, but using this like a flat plate instead of using the curved plate in case your helmet is not curved. And the third method is to use 
this one here so this is a strap in case you don't want to put any adhesive on your helmet you use the strap and i'm going to show you how to use it so you pass the strap through the hole here and then you put it like this and you put the buckle like this here and you pass both ends of the strap in the second hole of the buckle here like this and then you take the end of the strap that is on top and then you pass it in the buckle here and this is a very important step so that you can tighten it otherwise you cannot tighten it and now you hold it like this and you tighten it and now it is tight here and you do the same for the other end so this is the end result now to finish up with the helmet you have this extension here so that you film something from a different perspective so this one goes here like this and you put one of the screws here of course and on the other end you put the action cam so here i have another action cam that is from cam park so you can put it either like this or you put it like this in case you want to film yourself and then of course you tighten it here also with another screw so here it is installed in the front of the helmet to finish up on the bicycle i have this tube here to mimic the handlebar of the bicycle so this here is also a mount for the handlebar so you open it like this and then you put it on the handlebar of the bicycle and then you close it and then it goes like this and you tighten it now you can put your action cam in it so if you put it like this it will be sideways to correct this you have these two adapters so i'm gonna show you how to install them i'm gonna remove the screw here first so you put one of them here like this and then you put a screw here and then you can put your action cam here also and you put another screw here and now you have your action cam facing to the front before going to the straps category if you're liking this video so far please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up and if you want to take it a notch further you can also join my channel as a member you can see all the members perks when you click on the join button the next category i'm gonna show you are the straps so this is the headband this is the chest strap and this is the wrist strap i'm gonna start with the wrist strap so you need to open it here like this and this is where the action cam goes and it goes on your wrist like this so if you put your action cam on it it will be also sideways if you want to put it in front do the same as we've done for the bicycle handle and use one of the adapters so here i'm gonna mount it sideways first you need to mount the action cam on the strap before you put the strap into your hand because it's easier this way so slide it in like this and use one of the screws and then put it on your wrist like this and you see this here is to tighten it more in case you are doing like extreme sports so slide it here and then tighten it like this so here it is on my wrist now i want to show you how to put the headband so the headband has adjustment here in case you want to adjust it so adjust it to the size of your head and then put the action cam here in the front like you put it on the wrist so i'm gonna do this now and then put it on your head like that and you can adjust the center band also and here it is installed so now i'm gonna show you how to put the chest strap so the chest strap has a quick release here mount and it has a buckle here you need to remove the buckle and then you need to adjust it to your size and then you slide it over the top of your head like that you put your hand from here and then you take the buckle and you put it here like that for the chest strap it's better to use one of the angled quick release mount so that you can adjust the camera like you want so you need to put the camera here so i'm gonna put the base of the dji osmo action here and then you simply slide the base of the mount in the quick release mount here on your chest and then you adjust the camera like you want here and then you tighten it another type of you can call it also strap is this clamp here so this clamp like can go everywhere i'm gonna show it to you if i put it on my jacket here so it goes if you want on your jacket here for instance or it can go also on your backpack here strap if you have a backpack and then you can put your action cam in it so it goes like this in it so if you don't want it to be like this you can also use one of the adapters so you put the adapter here like that and then you put the action cam in the adapter like that 
So now I want to show you the handheld category, the auto category, and the miscellaneous category. So I'm going to start first with the handheld devices, and these are the ones that you see in front of you here. So this one here is like a gorilla type tripod. So this one can go around like poles like this. You can put it wherever you want. And here it has a quarter inch thread, which is standard. And if you want to put your action cam on it, in case your action cam doesn't have a thread here, what you can do is you can use this adapter that also comes with the newer 50-in-1 accessory kit. You put it like this, and then you can put your action cam here. And then, of course, you use one of the screws to secure it. Now, the second one is a straightforward selfie stick. So it is extensible. And also, you can put your action cam on top of it here. And you can secure it also with a screw, of course. And the third one is to use in water. So this is a hollow handheld device that can float. So you put your action cam here. And then, of course, you put also a screw. And you can also use this hand strap. And you can put it here to secure it. And then you put it in your hand in case you're swimming so that you don't lose it. Now, something else also to make the camera float is this buoy that comes also with the accessory kit. So you put an adhesive on the buoy here. And for instance, on your action cam, you can stick it here to the action cam. And this way, the action cam will float and it will not sink. Now, before putting it on the back of the cage of your action cam, make sure that you really want to do this because once it sticks, it's very hard to remove. So now let me show you how to put the action cam in your car. So this is here a suction mount. And I talked about the clamp before when I talked about the straps. And this can also be used in your car. For instance, if you pull up the headrests, you can put this on the poles that support the headrest like this and put your action cam here. And the suction mount here, it can go anywhere on any glass surface. And it has a quick release plate here to put the action cam like I showed you. Now the last item I want to show you is this quarter inch also thread that you can put in the action cam in case your action cam has a hole here. So this is the case of my Camp Park action cam. If I remove it from its waterproof cage, it has here a standard thread. So I can put this here like that. And then now I can put my action cam in any of the supports like this. If you want to check out this newer 50-in-1 accessory kit for action cams, I'm going to leave affiliate links in the description below. If you make a purchase using my links, I will gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you, and this will support my channel. I hope that you liked my video and you found it useful. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. I want to thank you all for watching, and see you in the next video.